Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Side fan, beast! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2020, the album, Gad AF. Rock on, gold dust. I have some things to say today. Woman! <laughs> okay, let's get right into this video. Today's video, we are going to talk about Jaclyn Hill. I have some things to say about Jaclyn Hill. Maybe some suggestions for what she should do next. Speculations about what she's going to do next. Um, and I also want to talk about some comments that came out of my video yesterday that I did about Manny MUA, Manny Mua as I refer to him. Um, apparently I didn't finish my thoughts over there about what he had said to me. <laughs> Imagine me going off on a tangent and forgetting where I was. Um, but before I do, I want to give some shout outs. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Mike. Um, Mike, whose girlfriend is S -S 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 a girl or something like that said that they watch all of my review videos together. Thank you. I know this is not my review channel, but I already filmed my review video today. I did a review of the Dunkin' Donuts cinnamon pumpkin latte, cinnamon spice pumpkin latte or something like that. So you'll have to go check that out. If this video is up, then that one is already up. I'm having so much fun on my review channel. You guys, please check it out. If you like it, stick around, subscribe. If not, okay, I understand. But anyway, I love that channel. I'm having so much fun over there and I'm reviewing all kinds of stuff. So anyway, um, so thank you, Mike, for watching my videos. I love when I get messages from people and they're like, oh, me and like my boyfriend or me and my girlfriend or me and my partner, we sit and we watch your videos together at night or we sit around as a family and watch your vlogs. Like that means so much to me. I mean that people would actually sit and watch an hour of me talking, driving around in a car. It's, it's really cool, you know, and I love that. So thank you so much. Um, and then the other person I want to shout out, I think is Ashley. It's her birthday today, I think. Ashley, oh my God. Today is Ashley's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Happy birthday to you. And Pee Pee would like to say happy birthday. You want to say happy birthday to Ashley? He said, I love being in videos, Dad. Happy birthday to you. No, Pee Pee, it's not your birthday. But tomorrow is Pee Pee and Peter's Bachelor Weekend. So Pee Pee will be making lots of appearances this weekend because his father, his father, his dad, his other dad, is going to North Coast Music Festival in Chicago this weekend. Okay. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my video that I did yesterday. You know, I have to tell you that it was interesting to me because I got many, many comments on that video of people saying that they felt like Manny got a raw deal, that, you know, Manny accused of being a social climber, but really not a whole lot more than that. I also got a lot of people commenting and saying that the reason that they don't watch Manny anymore is not because of the fact that he was a social climber and called out for that, but the fact that he's just boring. They don't like his content anymore. And then I got a lot of comments from people that said that they really do like his content and it seems like Manny is coming back and becoming himself again. So when I reached, or when Manny reached out to me and we talked about it, what Manny said originally about the worthy video and him being accused of copying and all that kind of stuff was that he did not know that that was her editing style. Had he known, he would have credited her originally and then he went back and he apologized to her, which a lot of people commented on. And um, so he did apologize to her and he did credit her. Um, and you know, Manny is really known for crediting people. So I thought that that was great that a lot of people noticed that about what was happening. So Manny wanted to make sure that I understood and that everybody else understood that had he known originally who it was because he did credit this Robbie person who I don't know, I don't know the Chinese, I don't know Robbie, okay? But if he was gonna credit Robbie, why wouldn't he credit Worthy, okay? So, and that was basically what he was saying. But the other thing that I said to him was, you know, and I talked a little bit about this yesterday, that, you know, when you've been kind of beat down over and over and over on YouTube, it's hard to be yourself. And I said, you know, I really wish that he would stop being scared. And I would say, I would give unsolicited advice to anybody that asks. I just want you to know, okay? Um, I do it in my videos and I would do it there. But I said, I wish that, you know, you would stop being so scared um, I, and just get on video and be yourself. And one of the things that he said to me that I thought was really great was he said, you know, I'm not the person that I was a year ago. And, you know, even though I, I was real sassy back then, basically, was what he said. He didn't use those words. <laughs> but he said, you know, I'm not the same person that I was a year ago. And and I'm not gonna be somebody fake on camera and I'm gonna be myself. And I have to say, you know, cause we're gonna be talking about relatability with Jaclyn Hill in a second. This lighting of my new ring light is, I, I still haven't figured it out yet. So, but anyway, 
The whole idea of being relatable on YouTube is so interesting to me. I think that people try really hard to be relatable. Um, but relatability is something that just kind of comes naturally. You either are or you aren't, right? And relatability is really dependent on the person that's watching you because every person is completely different out there. So what I relate to might be completely different than what somebody else relates to. So it's hard to be relatable to the masses. So I liked that. I really appreciated that Manny said that, that he was like just going to be himself. Well, Myself, I have also gone through many changes in the last year, weekly, monthly, daily, you know, and I think many people do. And, you know, I think that one of the things I learned on here was because I got a lot of comments yesterday that people were like, you know, your opinion's changing and you kind of feel differently about some things and you're saying things differently on here. There's kind of a game you have to play on YouTube. And, you know, it's very much the popular kid contest on YouTube. And I have, and I'm just putting this out there, take it as you like it, okay? But I have never been in life the popular kid, okay? I wasn't when I was growing up. Um, and we're not going to get into all that today. I've made many videos about that. I was never the popular kid. I never fit in. I always said something awkward. And I always said my piece, right? So in the last year, I really looked at my channel and what I wanted to do. Come on, White. Come on. And who I wanted to be over here. As well as on my Peterisms channel, my BookTube channel, my blog channel, my review channel. And what I really decided was this, okay? Is that... Anything I share on here is just my opinion. It's just my stance. You don't have to agree with it. But I love the fact that we can have a conversation in the comment sections and you too can have, I may not agree with your opinion, but you can have your opinion, right? But I would rather be respected for my opinion than have my channel grow at mass amounts because I'm saying the right thing or I'm playing the popular game. I'm not willing to do that, okay? And if that works against me, I'm totally fine with that, all right? I just want people to understand that. And I also want people to know I don't really have any deep love relationship with any of these YouTubers. In fact, one of the things that has happened in the last, I would say, six months to a year is that I have really distanced myself, you know, from bigger YouTubers. There was a period when I did some collabs and whatever, and that was really cool. I enjoyed that, right? But I want to be able to say what I want to be able to say on this channel, unedited, and have my opinion, and and just be able to get on here. And I, like I said, I would rather be respected for my opinion, and people say, I may not agree with him, but that's his opinion, and he stands by it, okay? Than to play this popular game. So when people come over here and they say, it's interesting that your stance has changed, right? I want to make this very clear. It would be very, very easy for me to get on video and say things that are popular, that would get me more views, that would get me more subscribers, and I'm not willing to do that, okay? So like I said, I would rather be respected for what I have to say, unbiased, over here than to play the popular game. I, I'm not willing to do it over here. And, you know, maybe that's a stupid move. I don't know. Um, maybe that's not the right way to play this YouTube thing. But I have learned in life through my 47 years that I am happier with who I am when I am being true to myself and standing, my con my, standing by my convictions and what I believe than playing for somebody else. And today, at 47 years old, I have to play for myself. And I hope that you guys enjoy the content that I put out, and I hope you have a discussion in the comment sections. I, I welcome anybody's opinion, whether it agrees with mine or not. And, and that's what I think, that drama commentary, why it's so interesting, because we can have a conversation. It doesn't have to get ugly. It doesn't have to get messy. It doesn't have to get, well, if you don't agree with me, then blah, 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 whatever. So I just wanted to put that out there. And my opinion really hasn't changed about a lot of these people. If I'm going to be completely 100% transparent, I was playing the game in the past. I was saying the things that I thought were probably pretty popular. And I'm not willing to do that anymore. I'm just not, you know? There are some people out there that I look up to and I admire and I respect. There are some people that I don't, okay? And that's just how it is. But that doesn't affect my opinion on what is going on with a certain situation. I can stand back from a situation and I can say, even though I like or dislike this person, this is how I feel about this situation. So I do it in my personal life. There's no reason why I can't do it on video, okay? And I just want people to know that. And I know people are going to be like, well, this is, what's he saying? There's more, there's nothing more to what I'm saying. It's just as, I'm just clarifying that like, if I come on here and I have an opinion that's not real popular, it's not because I'm siding with somebody or siding with this. Going forward, I'm just going to say my two cents. That's what it is. And there's no hidden meaning to it than that. I'm just 
looking at a situation and I'm giving you my unbiased opinion looking at a situation. And I have to tell you, it's freeing. It feels very nice. So anyway, okay. Let's go on and let's talk about Jaclyn Hill and I will give you my completely unbiased opinion which will probably not be popular and people will be like, oh, he's changing his opinion. Why is he changing his opinion about Jaclyn Hill? So yesterday, uh, Jaclyn Hill posted a picture on Instagram and I'm not gonna show the picture, like I said, I'm not gonna show a ton of receipts, but she said on here, it's a picture of her standing in a towel wrapped around her in her bathroom and she's drinking from a bottle of wine and she's holding a glass of uh, red wine in her other hand. And she said underneath here, happy hump day, y'all. Also, dot, 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 I'm not pregnant, just thought I'd clear the air. And you know, there's been a lot of speculation about her health and people were wondering if it could possibly be that she was pregnant and whatever, and I've steered clear of that in videos and said I wasn't gonna speculate about that. Um, I, I, I have an issue with speculating about things like that. Uh, so for me, it was kind of like, <laughs> I thought this was how you handle a situation. I have to give applause to Jacqueline. Okay. I lived, when I saw this picture, I was like, girl, you got in. Okay. You got in, you did it. See? And she knows, she knows how to play the game a little bit. Right. And so then I went to her Twitter today and she posted Oh, hold on a second. Let me pull it up. Uh, Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline uh, posted, um, well, yesterday, two days ago on National Dog Day, she tweeted a picture of her dog and she said, why is my dog the dumbest, cutest, most adorable thing I've ever seen? Just look at her little tongue, uh, her little ham tongue. And let me show you. Jacqueline, I think Pee Pee's cuter than I'm just saying. Don't y'all think? Who's cuter? My dog or Jack? They can both be cute, don't you think? We should get our dogs together, Jack, and we can go to the bark park. Okay, so anyway, um, the PB likes to be the most popular one in town. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Don't try to come for his popularity. So anyway, she then uh, posted, just watched a man in traffic pick his nose and eat it. I literally had to tweet about it because I couldn't go through the experience alone. And underneath here, you know, People were like, really? Why do you share this? It's disgusting. And somebody said to seem relatable. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Jacqueline Hill cannot post anything going forward, literally. Anything she posts, okay, if it's a picture of her dog, if it's about some dude eating his boogers up and uh, let's just call it as it is, okay? It ain't no Burger King <laughs> Impossible Whopper, but I did review that on my review channel. She can't post anything, okay, about being out in sweats or I, whatever she posts, people are going to be, look at that light. Come on, light! Carol Ann! <laughs> Do you guys remember that back in the day? Oh my god. Okay. Do you guys know, oh, a bitch and an eating. I was trying to think what their channel is called. Do you know, it's called Bay Nation now. Do you guys know Bunny and Kay? Oh my god, I live for Bunny and Kay. I don't even know if they're posting videos anymore. I haven't even looked. I should look and see. Okay, so Bay Nation is this, these two sisters, and they do an eating show, and they are fantastic, and I absolutely love them. They are so sweet. Um, hold on a second. Bay Nation. They were bitching and eating, but then they changed their name. So let me see. Here they are. Okay, they streamed. When did they stream this? Here they are. Um, they streamed August 18th, so they're still posting videos. I'm going to link them below. Bay Nation. They are two of the sweet... Bunny and Kay. They are two of the sweetest girls in the entire world. And don't come for them. Be real nice, okay? They can handle the hate, though. They handle trolls like nobody's business. But go follow Bay Nation. Make their day. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, I shouted them out like months and months ago and they like went and got like a thousand subscribers literally like in two days and they like cried on the live stream and everything. They are so sweet. I love these girls so much. So Bunny and Kay, how are you doing? I want you guys to go follow them if you haven't followed them. But anyway, they, in their, one of their streams, they do these things. They go, Carol Ann, Carol Ann. It's so funny. Oh my God. I was watching their New Year's stream. They did a 24 hour New Year's stream and I was getting ready to go out and I was watching it just laughing my butt off. So anyway, okay. So, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about this whole Jaclyn Hill thing. And I was talking to my friend last night about it. And we were talking about Jaclyn Hill and like, what is she really supposed to do next, right? And, you know, I kind of said something yesterday in my video about uh, the fact that Benefit Cosmetics, like they put her name in her picture. Come on, <laughs> the light. Come to the light, Carol Ann. Okay, so anyway, that I was saying that Benefit Cosmetics put her face and her name on this highlighter because she shouted out this highlighter, this cookie highlighter and all that stuff. Well, all these people were like, well, they've done it with other people. So they've done it apparently with other people. Apparently they did it with Jeffree Star. Uh, maybe somebody said to me allegedly and a couple other people. So this is not a new thing for Benefit Cosmetics to do this. Okay. This ring light, I'm not happy with it right now. So anyway, um, 
But you know, like, I'm kind of at this point where Jaclyn Hill has made it clear she is not going to come out and address ongoing issues with Jaclyn Cosmetics and the lipsticks. She's just not, okay? I think we know that at this point, right? She is starting to lose subscribers. She's lost, I looked, and it was like many. It was thousands, okay? So she's starting to lose subscribers because I think that what people are realizing is that she is not going to address these issues, okay? She's not gonna come out and do a video because, and people, whenever I do this video, they're always like, well, what issues has she not addressed? There's a lot of issues, okay? Jacqueline said that she hired six different uh, labs to test the lipsticks. We never found out what the findings were on that. There are people that are still complaining that they're not getting the refunds. There are still people that are saying issues like this. Here's how I feel about it, okay? Come for Jaclyn Cosmetics all you want. Come for the lipsticks, come for the brand, come for all that kind of stuff. To personally attack Jaclyn Hill is a completely other thing, right? And I'm not okay with that. So, you know, going forward, Jaclyn Hill the person, I'm not really sure what she's supposed to do because she has aligned herself so closely with Jaclyn Cosmetics, right? And um, it would be interesting to see. Now, I believe that her, her next release will sell out because I think that whatever it is, okay, that everybody in the world is gonna wanna buy it to test it on their own, to see if there's hairs in it, to see if there's anything wrong with it or whatever. Her next release is gonna get just as much attention as this release did. Now, if her next release does really well, that's great for Jacqueline because she's getting all this attention on a really positive release and she has to know that, okay? So she's sitting at home and she's thinking to herself, do I come out and address these things? If I address them, people are still going to have questions, okay? If I don't address them, people are still going to have questions. No matter what I say, I'm, still, I'm never going to make some people happy. So what do I do? I guess if I were Jacqueline, in all honesty, I'd probably keep on moving. And I probably would say, you know what? I've apologized for this. I've done the best I can. I'm not going to give the answers. I legally maybe can't give some of the answers that they want. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. And I think that's why she's tweeting out things and maybe she's trying to be relatable. I don't think she's trying to be relatable. I think she's just trying to be Jacqueline Hill and people are calling her out for trying to be relatable. In all honesty, I've watched Jacqueline for a long time. I've watched a lot of her videos. I don't believe that Jacqueline Hill, in all honesty, is that calculated that every tweet she puts out about somebody eating some boogers up in a car, I mean, there's a lot more relatable tweets that she could have put out, let's just be for real, okay, than that. I don't think that everything she's trying to put out, I do think she's trying to normalize herself back into social media. And if that were the case, what I would tell Jacqueline to do is tweet things out three or four times a day and put the phone down. Don't look at what people say. Don't respond to what people are saying positively or negatively. Tweet something out. Post a picture on Instagram. Don't respond. Post it and move on. And start filming videos. Start filming two to three videos again a week. Do things that you love. Do things that you haven't done for a while, you know? I don't know, do a video called My Dog Picked Out My Makeup. Oh, she's trying to be relatable. Well, people are gonna criticize her for whatever, okay? People are gonna say whatever they're gonna have to say, you know? So she's just going to have to put out her videos and she's going to have to keep it moving if that's what she's wanting to do. I do believe that Jacqueline probably hopes that people will forget about this and move on. Why wouldn't she? <laughs> Would, somebody is texting me. Is that Jacqueline Hill? Oh, no, that's my husband. Um, but, you know, like, I think that uh, I'm sure anybody would. The reality is this is such a huge thing. People aren't going to forget that this happened, right? There are always going to be people out there that are going to remember it. Drama channels are always, I'm going to always remember that she did it, right? And I probably will reference her past release when her new release comes out. That would be stupid if I didn't. We're going to talk about that. It's going to be a conversation that we're going to have. But Jacqueline Hill, the person, has to be able to move on at some time. She, I, I think any human being deserves that, you know? And it is, you know, been almost six months now, hasn't it? Did it come out in March or May? I think it came out in May. Well, then it's only been three months. I guess she's got a little bit more time. But, um, you know, I think that she has some time to, you know, she's had some time to put it together. I think the more she tries to normalize herself, even when people are saying, you're trying to be relatable, blah, 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 whatever, Boo Radley just came over here. Y'all want to see, okay, Boo Radley and Tucker got haircuts. Now, y'all have seen Boo Radley in the past. He does not look like the same dog. Are you ready? Boo Radley! Look at him. He looks like a miniature greyhound. You guys want to see? Come here, buddy. <laughs> Aww. He said, I love being on camera, Dad. Look how cute he is. <laughs> and his brother, Tucker, looks just like a little lambkin. Where's your brother? He said, I am not my brother's keeper, <laughs> but he's right here. People are like, we do not care. Tucker, you want to get on camera? Oh, he's running. He doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, there he is. It's a family affair. Look at this guy. Doesn't he look like a little lamb? Aw. How are you? 
He said, I do not love being on camera, Dad, but if we're all sitting up here, we're all sitting up here. <laughs> and Boo Rowley's back there. It's crazy over here. So anyway, what do you guys think about Jacqueline Hill? What? Boo Radley, what do you think? He goes, I don't know Jacqueline Hill. I don't care about her. Boo Radley, give us your two cents, your prophecy on Jacqueline Hill. What do you think about her next release? <laughs> he said, I don't even care about her. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. This house is out of control. I got to get off here. Let me know what you think. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.